In this video, we discuss how to write a basic C program, how to save it, how to compile the program, how to run the program, and to see the output. In C programming language, we start with basic function, main function, as main is the entry point and exit point for the C programming language. So this is the main function. In the main function, I want to display one message, hello world message. In order to print a message, I am using one function, printf function, printf. In double quotes, I am using, I am writing hello world. So whatever you write in double quotes in printf function, that is displayed on the output screen. So printf function. So this is the first part we have completed. So I have written a basic C program. And second one is saving the program. In order to save the program, so go to the file menu and click save option. This is uh, one option here. And second one is you can choose a, a shortcut also that is F2. So I am pressing F2 here and it is asking for file name. So I am writing uh, my first, that is, this is my file name and extension should be .c. Why? Because this is the C program. So my first is the file name and .c is the extension i am pressing ok so this is second part completed saving the program and third one is compiling the program so in order to compile the program we need to press alt f9 or you can see here that is a compiler menu here so select compile menu and in that select compile option there is also shortcut here alt f9 you can also press alt f9 so i am pressing alt f9 what the compiler does here is it checks for any errors that have written in our program. If there are no any errors, uh, then zero errors are shown here. So I am pressing enter here. The second, third part completed. That is compiling the program. And fourth one is running the program. In order to run the program, again there is run menu here, and then select run option. Or you can choose a shortcut method control F9. So I am pressing control F9. Okay. So next, in order to see the output, we need to press Alt F5. Why? Because after compiling the program, we are not getting any output. In order to see the output, we need to go to the output screen. This is our editor screen. In order to go to the output screen, we need to press Alt F5. I am pressing Alt F5 here. So it is showing hello world. Again, I am compiling the program Alt F9 and running the program Control F9. And again, I am pressing Alt F5 to see the output. Now, what is happening here is we are getting previous output also. Actually, we have seen uh, we have run the program three times. That's why we have got three hello worlds. But if we want to get the present output only without uh, getting previous output, we need to use one function. That is CLR SCR function. CLR SCR. CLR SCR means clear screen. It clears the previous output. That means we get only the present output. Again, I am pressing Alt F5. So we are getting only present output here. Okay. And next one is each and every time we are pressing Alt F5 to see the output. But there is another solution here. You know, without pressing Alt F5, we can see the output. What we can do here is we have to write uh, one uh, function here, get ch function, that is get character function. What it does here is it expects us to enter a character in the output screen. It holds in the output screen until we press a character. So get ch function. Then I am compiling the program alt f9 and then I am running the program using control f9. So directly we got the output hello world. So without uh, using alt f5, we have directly we are directly seeing the output using getch function. So this is our simple basic program. And one more point here is in some compilers, if we directly use printer function, if we directly use CLR, SCR and getch functions, we get compilation errors. Why? Because these uh, functions, prototypes and syntaxes are defined in some other files. Then uh, we need to include such header files in our program to use printf and all those built-in functions. Actually, all these are built-in functions. In order to use all these built-in functions, we need to include those header files uh, which are containing the code for these uh, files. So, in order to use printf function, we have to include stdio 
header file stdio.h stdio means standard input output h means header file so in order to include this standard input header file we are using hash include hash include is a preprocessor directive we will explain later uh, in these videos what are preprocessor directives etc okay so in order to use printf function we have to include stdio header file similarly in order to use clrscr function as well as getch function we need to include one header file that is hash include conio dot h conio means console input output header file so this is our program here so in this video we have written a basic c program to print hello world message and second one we have seen how to save the program with extension dot c and to compile the program using alt f9 to run the program using control f9 and to see the output using alt f5 and also in order to see the output without using alt f5 we can use get ch function and our last point here is to use a printf function we must include stdio header file and to use clrsr and get ch functions we must include conio header file thank you